F1105, so it's just a 5cc. Very tiny pieces in here. There's something that we learned about this, that this particular size, so there's about 15 sizes of those, this particular size has a different startup procedure than all the other sizes. So on theirs, they sort of dry started it. It's very subtle, but loss of lubrication in there. And uh, they dry started it because of the, they used the wrong port to fill it up. And we actually didn't know the difference between the, that, that this one specific one has a different startup procedure as well. Is that a, a port plate in your hand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so cute. And because they're so small uh, that uh, if you need to repair it, you just replace uh, the whole rotating group. I think really honestly, you just replace the whole motor now. But yeah, this is the, the smallest one. Five cc's, uh, but it spins 11,000 RPM, I believe. So it's very quick they have which are more like an adhesive rather than the metal tag. I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to get that QR code on everything. Also on this tag here is this is a uh, explosion proof rating so they can put it into like paint production or a sawmill or like where something with a lot of like sawdust. This, this could be used there and it has to have certificates and all that for it though still. Although it was dry startup uh, we are still going to see if we can help the customer out a bit, uh, even if we have to eat a little bit of it, because uh, I didn't like how the warranty inspection was done right from the get-go. It should have been done with a nice proper report. Instead, they just sent a, a message to the customer, two words, hey, warranty denied, dry startup. Uh, that's just, that makes it just complicated for everybody, because now they have to go to their customer, and they have to say, or, or the person that they were working with, the person who commissioned it, complicates the whole issue. So we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can help them out.